Everyone wants to be a part of something and finding someone who will tell us what we need to hear will make for a stronger connection. Jody Bach is here. She's going to talk about why we need to connect first with ourselves and also what we truly believe in. Welcome back to the show. Thanks, you guys. This is fun. It feels like we always just get to have little conversations about yeah. stuff that matters. You know, um, I've been thinking a lot about the two pieces of advice that I received that were the hardest to hear, but also what I needed to hear and how that shifted me. And the first one was, um, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget, don't be upset with what you tolerate. Think about that for a second. Hmm. Your friend, Tony Robbins, said that a long time ago. Don't be upset with what you tolerate, Jody, because somebody told me that one time. Because it's really easy to be upset about things that you don't like, but you don't dare say anything to people, and you don't dare you know, stand up for what you believe in. So you start attracting to yourself people who think they believe what you believe, but you've never told them what you really believe. So the second piece of advice is you don't attract what you want, you attract who you are. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look around and say, God, I have some really, you know, questionable <clears throat> friends, business associates, you might want to say, hmm, who am I being that that's who I'm attracting? And those two pieces of advice were like in my face, hard to hear a few years ago, but man, made all the difference. Because if we really do want to connect with people and we want to find our tribe, we want to find those people who support us, wouldn't we want to be authentic about that? instead of saying what we think they want to hear and then attracting with these people who we really don't have anything in common with. So I have a friend who moved to San Antonio, Texas from Fargo. And the best thing that happened, no, I shouldn't say the best. One of the best things that happened for her in her move was going out and finding a group of people who are NDSU Bison football fans. And so now they go out when at to, I don't know, a certain bar and watch the games on Saturdays when they can. And it's so fun because you might not ever connect with those people in San Antonio, right? She might never meet them, but because they have this shared interest, Bison Athletics, they've become friends and she's met people with common interests. But you have to do that because of who you are, not because of who you think they want you to be. And I wonder how many people out there are being what they think other people want them to be or wearing the right clothes or saying the right things when that's not really authentically who they are. Mm -hmm. And so as I've been thinking about that more and kind of observing that for myself, I'm noticing a lot of things. And the coolest thing is I have some really great friends. <laughs> and when you notice that, you can go, hmm, what am I doing and being <clears throat> that's starting to attract the people I want to be part of a tribe with? And so I wonder if there's an opportunity for us, people, all of us, to start thinking about that a little bit more. Instead of being upset about the things that frustrate us, what if we could start saying, huh, maybe there's a lesson in there for me. And I want to talk a little bit more about um, attraction, the yeah. law of attraction, and how we attract to us not what we want, but who we are. And whether that, does that mean anything to you guys? Because you're both going. Mm. I think I think one of the things, I'm thinking about all my friends that I surround myself yeah. with, and I'm happy with that. But I do see the first one I feel like is hard for not just me, but everyone kind of in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. you kind of, oh, well, I'm just going to bite my tongue, and I don't want to upset their feelings by telling them this. And and it's like, why, why, when you have that opinion, why not put it out there? Minnesota nice is not so nice, people. We got to get beyond that. Because I know we worry about what other people think, and we worry about making people mad, and we worry about what they'll think of us. But they're worried about what you think of them. They don't have time to worry about you. Mm -hmm. It's the funniest thing. And then we get into these situations where we're, like you said, biting <clears> our tongue. <throat> mm -hmm. And then it appears as if we agree with them if they're saying bad things or, or making fun of somebody. I mean, think about bullying. You know, with kids, it's hard when we don't know how to stand up for ourselves because we're afraid of what other people are going to think about us. So there, there are ways to do that. There are ways to have those conversations in ways that don't have to put people off and make them defensive. We can invite people into a conversation because we attract who we are, right? And if we're good communicators and we're interested rather than trying to be interesting, then we can actually start attracting people we want to be around and be with. Like a magnet. Hmm, like a magnet. <laughs> we'll talk more about that right after this. Stick around.